Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. And today is a very, very special video for me. Um, I'm going to get a little emotional, but I want to introduce you to somebody. I don't know if you can hear him. This is my new friend. Um, this is Arthur. Hey Arthur. Can you say hello to everybody? Is he not the most beautiful little boy? Um, and you can, I hope you can hear him purring. As you all know, Leo used to be my supervisor, and um, he um, passed, gosh, it'll be two years in November, hard to believe, uh, and Arthur came to live with us about a week ago, and he's just the most lovely boy. He was um, a kitty who's, who, uh, a gal that I met, her, uh, she adopted or rescued a cat and then found out the cat was pregnant and Arthur was one of the kittens. So Arthur, can you say hello? Say hello. And so really the video is all about <laughs> Arthur, but I am going to attempt to do a little bit of crafting. I'll put him on the floor. He can't yet make his way to <laughs> the top of my desk, but you know he will be. And I don't know if he's going to be a supervisor like Leo was. Uh, you know, I'll let Arthur be Arthur, but we call him Artie for short. And it's kind of our little nod to um, art. So Arthur, otherwise known as Artie. So thank you for letting me do that. He's just the loveliest little boy. Uh, okay, so I have some fun things that I just found in my, um, just in my basket here. And I thought maybe I'll play with them. I've got some stickers. These are lovely uh, butterfly stickers. This was a piece of, um, these are, pieces of uh, scrapbook paper and um, you can see it's just got like a ledger on it and uh, I cut it into there were two pieces I cut them into uh, what did I get uh, eight of these each so they're like three inches by six some scrap paper and I have this um, and I have some coffee stain paper, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I think it would be fun just to play. And this is, um, that's, this is Rachel paper, and this is from, I think it's from Ruby and Pearl. So what I'm thinking might be kind of fun, and this is, I'm certain that I am borrowing from the fabulous Carol. You hear any noises in the background? That would be uh, my sweet boy Arthur moving around so my thought is I'm going to try and uh, hmm. you know what I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it to the height there and then because I think we'll make a pocket that flips onto it and this is very very much uh, Carol from uh, Carol Laws on YouTube, who is a sweetheart. Whoops, a very, very talented lady. There we go. Just putting a bit of glue on that. And about to fall. I'm so in love with this little kitty. He's just, he's just so sweet. Now, I'm thinking, I could make this. Let's just give it a whirl and see if it works. I'm going to put this glue on as a tuck spot on the side. And I have not done a, a, a prototype for this, so we'll see how it all works out. So if you're crafting along, just make sure you have, you're using two-sided, I think, is the way to go. So what we end up with is a little tuck spot in here. My thought is we could make, okay, I'm just going to fold this over a little tiny bit just to make a little wee gusset out of it. And I'm just going to cut up here, see how this works out like that. I'm not going to worry about a gusset at the bottom. Um, but if I bring this to almost here, because what I want to be able to do is have something fit in there nicely, otherwise I'm going to encroach on it. So if I do this, 
You hear Arthur playing with a um, bottle cap. He likes to play hockey with the bottle caps. You know what? Do I have? <laughs> Keep the saying. You know what? Um, oh, this is what I want. My uh, my little tab punch. I'm gonna try putting one here. Should have done it first. Oh, that worked out well. That did. It worked out well. And we can do that one after. Okay. All right. Let's put this on and see how it goes. And this is probably very similar to um, uh, uh, Rachel's, uh, the sort of pockets that she makes as well. It's hard to say who, like these are, both of these wonderful makers are great influencers uh, and have influenced my work without a doubt. Um, so now we have a, a pocket here. And we have a pocket there. The back is now covered and it looks really pretty. I think what I want to do, I want to keep that little bit of space here. So I'm going to fold it just like that there. Oh gosh, this is working out, <laughs> I think. So now we have a pocket here. We have a spot in here. Uh, and you can write on there really really cute you could even put it let's pretend that this is a well it does look like a journal page doesn't it um, let's pretend this was you could attach it like that and you could create a uh, glue it here and and down here and create a tuck spot and you also have this and then on the back of it you could also have a tuck spot if you want it or you could have it so that it flips and something goes in here. I actually like that idea. Um, or I think what I would do is I would just clip it on. I'm getting more and more into doing the clipping on. So what I want to do is I just want to put a little tab at the top here. Attempt to center it a little bit. Arthur's having a heck of a time. Okay. So that will work out really well. I wish I had a um, tag that was that would fit in here. Let me just see. A couple of things. That's too big, but there's no reason why we can't cut it down. Let me see. So I apologize for seat of the pants crafting, but sometimes, gosh, that's the way to get some cool stuff. So I'm just measuring this just over two and a half. So I want this to be just inside of two and a half. And this is a piece that's on a um, library card. And I don't have my rounder right handy. That's very East Coast Canada, <laughs> right handy. But I am going to sit this in here. This is a, a Tracy Fox digital. So I can set that in there and I'll put something at the top. I don't want it to fall in. Just look in here. I have a little piece of lace. That will work. And let me just try and open that up a little bit more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my pin went down. I'm not using this cloth that I I learned to do that from watching Leslie. I'm going to have to get that pin before he comes back over here. So if I put it like that, then let me let that dry and let me just find the pin while I'm here because I don't want Arthur to. Okay, got it. Okay, so this would go in like that. And then I like putting that just over top of it a little bit. I think that looks kind of cute. And there we go. And then something like this, this is another card, could go in here. Is it too wide? Yeah, it's a 
little too wide. Oh well. Um, yeah, we would find something else to go in there. It's all good. So that is one. And let's let's do another one. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Go like that. And then this will be okay. So I put my card on here and then I fold down the top by folding it right on the card. That way you know you've got the right amount. I'm not worried about it being wide. It's wider than I need it to be for sure. Um, but we're good. Let me just grab some glue here. We are good. Put that on. How you doing? And let me see. Just try and get this. And we're gonna this time we're gonna do it first. Here. And we'll set it on. Like so. I'm really quiet because I'm listening to him. Like I said, I cannot tell you how much joy he has brought us. I it took me a long time to be ready to have um, another beautiful little fur baby in my life uh, and, and mostly because Leo just meant so much to me but when you have love to give you have love to give right and that is him playing with the tripod guys I'm so sorry <laughs> uh, clearly he's telling me that my he wasn't liking the angle of what I was doing there okay so I'm going to bring that a little bit to here, not quite to the, there we go, like that. It's going to be very pretty. And it's a fun way to use bits of, so these were pages that I had printed for another project that I ended up getting too fat uh, or too thick. And so I didn't need the pages. Um, often I save them to use to extend a page. Um, I didn't in this particular instance, but there, yeah, that's flowing a little bit better. And now we'll just set this over here, like so. Right, they're having a good old time. And we're going to set that like that. Love it. And then I will do a little clip like that. Excellent. Okay. And then I have, let's move these out of the way. So we'll just do the two. Set those there for another, another project. I have another one of these pieces that I can cut. This was a guest check that I made and haven't used yet. And if I remember correct, the last one was two and a half. So I'm just going to come inside of two and a half. Save these bits because we can use them for something else down the road. And rounding the corner a little bit. Now this is going to be longer than what I need. But that's okay. Very pretty. Okay, so we've got these two. And then we can put something on the outside. Let's just see. Can take this glue off. I like the idea of using some of this, some of these butterflies. And these are... Um, this is a sticker sheet that you have to actually cut out around. So you can cut the butterfly out, you can 
kiss cut, whatever it is you want to do. It's mostly, um, you can't, uh, it's fairly translucent. It's actually more opaque. Uh, so you do see that there was still a little bit of that creamy color of the background here. But let's just do a very quick little cut. And add this to one of these. Okay. Apologies for making lots of mess. But I think that would look really nice right there. And let's see now, this is going to be the big the big trick is me getting it off the sticker off the backing. Someone told me take the backing off. It's easier to work from the backing forward. But if I was smart, I would do what Andrea does from Artie Mays, and I would have a, like a, a, a knife, a, a nice exacto knife or something. There we go. All right. And set that there. There. Oh, actually, that turned out really, really nice. I like that. I mean, just something as simple as that. Um, let me see, how much are these going to stand out? I have some colored ones. I love this one with moth. But I'm a little afraid that it will disappear. I think one of these would be great. Let's try this one. See, he's still playing with his uh, bottle cap. I exercise in the we. I have a exercise machine on the other side of the the basement here, or the craft room, and um, what was my point? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's like a runway for him to be able to to play and do his own thing. So, so it's important to be quiet when you try and take a sticker off. This is my theory. Sometimes it's just something as simple as that. My goodness. So pretty. Is that not pretty? Just like that. I might add a couple more on either one. Let's add another one each. And then uh, and then we'll stop the video for now. This was more about saying hello to Arthur. I hope I hope um, you all don't mind me sharing this a beautiful little boy. Uh, I'll have to do a nice picture of him. I think I'll stick, I'll stay with my picture of Leo, that painting that I did of Leo, as my ID for the channel for the time being. Um, because Leo, because Leo, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Leo is just lovely. So this is a, a little bit different uh, butterfly than that, but they have the very same coloration, which is beautiful. Okay, I think we've got it. Wow. Maybe, dare I say, maybe I'm getting it with these. I love these stickers. You could absolutely put glue stick behind them. But look at that. That is just lovely. So happy with that. Okay. And then where is that? Ah, this one. I think I'll use this guy. So much for him to play with down here. I've removed items that are not that are harmful. Um, that's why I wanted to pick up that pin as quickly as I could. I think he'd only ever play hockey with it, but you know what? You don't want to risk it. 
you just don't want to risk it. Okay. This is fun. Like for me, when you do something, I just had, and I didn't use all the supplies I had out. Um, it's just fun when it comes together. Just trying to line up the bodies a little bit of those butterflies and moths. Okay. So that's it, guys. We have a little tuck spot in here. That doesn't fit. Or maybe that one does. Yeah, that one fits there. Uh, so we have that one. And we have this one. And you could use it a couple of different ways in a journal. Um, don't want guest check showing on the front. I may end up covering that. I'll just have it like so. So there we are. Two little uh, fun flips using some spare um, paper and some spare cardstock and some stickers and um, an introduction to the fabulous Arthur. I wish he'd come over here so I could show him again but he's on his own time. Okay let me bring this in a little bit. So there you go. So thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care everyone. Bye.